Let's get to this year's gold helmet guys. They got two, not one, but two. Last year, zero. 2021, two. 2020, they got one. This year, they got two, despite being so far back. And this is why they traded up. Traded up for Jair Brown. Watch him right here on the right side. Just sees what's his key. His key is right here. And you read that. He goes across. He's going to take you to the ball. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he brings the wood here. This is fun tape already. Would like him to wrap up a little bit. But, man, he, he's given up some weight to this tight end. But doesn't matter. Knocks him backwards. And then the team rallies. Yeah, everybody getting in there. Ooh, did they get the ball out? Yeah, you, I mean, you could see. Look at him just. He gets his read, gets his key, mirrors it, comes down, boom, he will lay the wood. He's so aggressive. And look at him. The play should be done. He ain't done. Give me that ball. You want to fight for some more? Guess what? We want that ball. And gets it out. Love it. Watch him just scream down. Whoop. Just going against the flow. Trust your eyes. Trust your key. Love that. Bang. All right. You're going to keep fighting for it. Guess what? Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Gets it out and recovers it. Oh, I love me some Jair Brown, baby. Now, again, uh, sticking with my Don Burr comment, I don't like the positional value, but trading up from, you know, what were we at? It was the 102 spot. They traded up from 102 to 87. 87 for a safety. Was it my idea? Um, was it my idea? And... My idea of like value, but that's okay. That's okay. It, it, look at Don Burr right here, Detroit. Uh, period. Win or lose, loyal to the soil. I freaking love that man. And it's why I love Lions fans. Love Lions fans uh, because they all are, they, and they're all pretty reasonable. You have to be. Uh, never made the Super Bowl. Like we over here complain about things, and it's like, dude, we've been in the NFC Championship three out of four years. That's never happened in Detroit's entire history ever. I think we've done it like three times. Um. And not not throwing shots, I'm just saying, like, man, remember what it means to be a fan and put that into context. Niners are spoiled, man. Do I want another ring? Hell yes. There's eight teams that have never won a ring. Eight. Eight teams have never won a championship in the NFL out of 32 teams. Mm. Anyway, Don, you're the best, bro. You're the best. Now, Jair Brown. And it's weird. And this was in a little bit of the Matt Barrow's article on The Athletic. Again, go check it out. I don't want to share everything. They go through every single draft pick. I'm just wanting to highlight some of the um, gold helmet guys. But the similarities between Talano Hufunga and Jair Brown, gosh, man, if there's a Venn diagram, they like almost completely overlap. Both had six picks their final year in college. Both slower 40 times, both beyond physical, huge impact players, crazy verbal talking, talking, talking. You see it on film. You see waving the hands. You see him adjusting players. You see Hufunga do it all the time. The nickname Matt Barrows talks about in his article for Jair Brown is The Voice. The Voice, which is awesome. Like, you're getting somebody at a safety position that is the quarterback of the secondary, right? Uh, linebackers, quarterback in the front seven. We got Fred Warner. That's on lock. We ain't worried about that. Backside, Hufunga took over that role, and Tayshawn Gibson did like that. And I think a big reason why we talked a little bit about this last episode with Mosquito Killer. He's in here too. Hufunga had some lapses in communication. Well, guess what? You were working with Jimmy Ward, and Jimmy Ward was calling everything, calling everything, calling everything all through camp, all through preseason, and then he gets hurt. Well, guess what? We're bringing a guy off the street, and now you're in charge. There were bound to be issues. Bound to be issues. And, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Train wreck. Communication is key in the secondary. Man, if you're running quarters and they think you're running three or cover six, yeah, you're going to get beat. And we got beat on some of those last year. You got to simplify that stuff. There he is. There's the man. What's up, Mosquito Killer? Um... So I, I, I just think it's interesting. But you look at Jair Brown, and even though he ran a 4.6540, not great for a safety on the back end, but the 49ers said, Adam Peters, said they had a 92% on the 
on speed and accelerations among draftable safeties. So, yeah, the the 40 clock time, not there. Now, I will tell you this. Grading his film, especially 2021, top end speed showed a major concern. Now, how do you fix speed at the safety or linebacker position? Up here, instincts. And this is why I think they're high on Jalen Graham, the linebacker too, not a gold star, gold helmet player. If if you know play recognition, film, alignment, assignment, and you can do all those things and you can act quick and read quick, that takes away the need for top end speed. Top end speed is a bailout whenever you don't diagnose correctly or anticipate um, appropriately and things like that. Instincts will get there. Ishmael, thank you. Instincts will get him to spots faster. 2022 tape was definitely better than 2021 tape for Jaya Brown. It was way better. Um, but there were still some concerns. So here's the best thing about it. You got Tayshawn Gibson. He's got time. Injuries will happen. This dude's going to play this year, but he's got time. He does not have to start this year. The roadmap for success for Jair Brown has already been laid out with what happened to Talano Hufunga and Chukwaski Tart. Tart's the guy. Let him be the guy. Did lose a couple starts during the season to Hufunga. Proved he wasn't quite ready. They went back to Tart. Following year, you let Tart walk. Hufunga steps in, never miss. Uh, he missed beats, but all pro, dude. <laughs> can can Jaya, if you were to sit here right now and say Jaya Brown's going to sit this year and be an all pro next year, every single person, including Jaya Brown's grandparents and parents and siblings, would sign up for that and say, Yup. Ah, man, that would be awesome. I don't think, I don't want to put those expectations on them just because that's not very fair. Um, but this, the road, it's been painted. The, the plan is there. Special teams, learn, 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 step in and some, you know, mop up duty, injury, step in, wait, learn, mature, fix some technique issues with Steve Wilkes. Next year, you're the guy. Next year, you're the guy. Starting safeties in 2024, Talano Hufunga, Jair Brown, put in pin, put in Sharpie. That's happening. We just got to wait and allow him to grow into that, right? Yeah, I'm excited about that. The 49ers Rush Podcast.